I... I... I don't. Alright. I... 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 Hi. Welcome, boys. How you doing? Um... This video's gonna be a quick video. Uh, this isn't something I usually do. These aren't... I, I don't like getting into conflict or politics or anything. But the... I don't know how to word this. The, 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 the hate towards Scott Cawthon, the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's. I know, personally, I'm not a Five Nights at Freddy's channel. Uh, I've, I've had my fair share with it. Ah, sorry, my fair share with it. I've, you know, come we've crossed paths many times. You know, I like the game. I like the lore. I love watching Map Hat play it. Stuff like that, right? Um, But... Hearing that he is now being cancelled on Twitter for something where he honestly shouldn't be cancelled for is something that I'm not I'm not gonna get too deep into it. You can look up what, what is happening. You can look up at you know, Google it, it's everywhere, you can whatever. But the the, the, the fact is that he has his own opinion. He's done so much for the community, not even in FNAF. He's done so much for the world that the people who are trying to cancel him are are just... I, I don't know what's going through their head. I'm not sure if they want their own opinion out there. I'm not sure if they think they're always right. But this is to the point where you're ending a guy's entire career over something stupid, which in reality doesn't matter especially when there are bigger problems in the world going on with everything you're going to try to end a beloved person with a whole community of not just five nights at freddy's but fan games he 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 gives back scott cawthon i know i've heard i've watched a bunch of these videos everyone says i know you're not going to watch this i'm a 35 sub youtube channel averaging six views of video I have one good video which has done decent. The likelihood of him seeing this slim to none. Probably none. I still want my voice to be heard. Scott Cawthon, if you are ever watching this and you have stumbled across this, uh, I stand with you. I support you 100%. You have made one of the arguably the most famous franchise, not even just in America, not in Canada, in the world. You You've put your face out there you put time and effort into these games this was your last shot before ending developing games you have been a one-man crew building an entire series based around these little puppets pretty much puppets and we're at game nine i believe it's i, I don't want to see this series come to the end i love it i love seeing theories about it i love seeing gameplay i'm scared to death of it yes doesn't mean I hate it. I think you have your right to say whatever you want. I think that everyone has their own right to speak. Alongside that, sometimes there's some things you shouldn't say. That's just basic knowledge. Um, but having a platform which is known to be toxic, as Twitter is, trying to cancel you, don't listen. You, you, you're... There's only a small percentage of people who might not support you compared to arguably a huge percentage of people who will continue supporting you unless you do something horrific. You have done nothing wrong. This is nothing on you. This is people trying to get your attention and trying to get attention out of anything they can. With that being said... um. I stand for Scott Cawthon. I stand by Scott Cawthon. I want him to succeed. He's making an honest earning. He's living like everyone else is. And that's what people have trouble understanding nowadays. That people are people. And we are all the same. Living the same lives. Maybe with different uh, handicaps. If that is you have a physical disability. Or you just do not have the right. You're not in the right place at the right time. Or... You you just are on the bad side of the bed or the unlucky side of the coin. You're a, you're a tailwind 
you land heads, people don't seem to understand that. And that's, that's a thing where if you don't understand that, educate yourself. People say educate yourself all the time. They're educating themselves on the wrong things at the wrong time. I'm not going to say any of my views. I'm not going to say anything. All I'm saying is that I stand with Scott Cawthon and I stand with the FNAF community and I do not stand with Twitter. With that being said, I will never make a Twitter account or at least I will not make a Twitter account for the time being. I have no intentions to. I do not want to. I do not want to be associated with Twitter. Um, I, I was really, even, even on TikTok, I was still kind of hesitant because of how toxic it is there. I try to stay happy. I try to stay clear of any sort of problems. I try to keep my channel as nice and as like positive as it can be, as friendly as it can be. I want to just be your average YouTuber. But I still think ending someone, trying to end someone's career over something stupid is honestly stupid. So I don't care what side you're on. I don't care if you are on the if you're you don't stand with him. I don't care if you stand with him. If you stand with him, great. If you don't stand with him, good for you. If you leave his content and you leave everything as it is, that's your decision. If you do not believe in what he believes, that's your decision. If you believe what in he believes, that's your decision. Everything is your decision. No decision will be the right decision to another person. So keep that in mind that everyone has their own little decisions they have to make within life and it might not benefit you but it might benefit them or it might not benefit them but it benefits you so you gotta open your eyes Pe people have to open their eyes and see what are they dealing with with that being said thank you so much for watching i'm not going to promote anything I, although i kind of did scott if you're watching this you have my respect uh, you have the whole fnaf community's respect you have the respect of many, many individuals on this planet. You have created a platform where people can express themselves and have fun. And where it keeps de developing and changing every day. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which is, this is kind of an off video, but I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Peace.